Hello friends, family, and fans, I'm Harder and we are back playing Dark Souls. As you can see, I'm wonderfully... The guys can't enter this area, because I obviously went back and healed, so that way I restored all my stuff and repaired my pyromancy hand. But it's great, because, like, they're aggroed by me, but they can't enter the area, so I'm kind of stuck there. Alrighty, so... Uh, this area first, I guess? I don't remember if this is a boss room. Oh dear, it's a boss room. Alright. Ha! Ah, you may remember this guy. He looks very much like the Asylum Demon. He's pretty much the same thing except for bigger, as well as he's fire-based. Like, very big. And he does these stupid AoE fire attacks. Woo! Oh, come on! That didn't even look like it would hurt. Ah, let's just slash this guy's crotch to death. You know, the usual plan when it comes to big enemies. Go up the shield. Oh, he keeps blasting me from behind. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, come on! I'm behind something! That's always the one thing that I hate, when you're, like, physically behind something and the game is all like, no. There we go. Yum, yum. Like when you're physically behind something, but the game is all like, yeah, no, we're not, we're not gonna actually use real physics here. And then other times it's all like, oh yeah, physics, that's, uh, that's what our whole game's based off of, it's dude physics. And then it's all like, which one is it? There we go, victory achieved. Woohoo, praise the sun! There we go, what do we got here? Ooh, demon's catalyst. Alright, so, this... Yeah, you can go in. This opens up like a bit of a shortcut to a different, um, uh, I'm gonna say fireplace, because I immediately forget what it's called. Bonfire, that's it. Ah! Go away. Go away. There you go. Whoop! Whoop! Take a swing of Estus. Let's go down. What's down? I don't remember what's down. Oh yeah, here's this bonfire. I forgot about this one. Bonfire lit. Alright, and we got a new bonfire. You know what that means? Time to juice it up. This item. Oh, best thing that Dark Souls 2 it created. Use multiple items at the same time. There we go. Come on, I don't, I don't risk no pity fires. If this isn't a bonfire, I, I mean, if this isn't like a roaring fire, I mean, I want college kids to like gather around and start drinking around my fire. That's how bad. That's how big it was this fire. Okay, so, first things first is, I know it leads down there, so we're not going to go there just yet. Instead, we're going to go up here. There's so many ways to go in this area. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, I forgot that you guys existed. There we go, it's a lot of them. Oh, I love this weapon, the gold tracer. It's too bad that's a DLC item, so it's like it's super hard to, like, you can't really get it early on in the game. If you guys remember, I managed just to get it myself. That. Just because I like it. It's a, like one of your best dex weapons. Fast dex weapons, we'll put it that way. I mean, the scythe, the great scythe, is super good, as I, you know, showed you many episodes ago. But to me, it's all like the gold tracer is really where it's at if you want, like, a good fast weapon. Plus, it's got bleed and all the goodies on it. Come on, reach that guy. There you go. Ooh, look, they're hiding something. Soul of a brave warrior. How brave was he? He was hiding behind a bunch of dead guys. <laughs> Alrighty. So now we can go up here. Boop. Step on this. And what do we have here? Ooh, excuse me. We have Quilog's Domain. 
So, here's where our uh, Chicky Poo is. See, that's this Chicky Poo. Um, hey, dude face is supposed to be over here after you defeat him. But anyways, I'm not going to rest of this ball and fire because otherwise it takes too long to get back down. But, um, but yeah, this is a nice little shortcut because as we all know, this game's all about shortcuts. Oh, poop, I didn't even start my timer. So many dangerous of kids. Yep, and then, like, you know, to the sides is nothing. I believe also nothing. And then a uh, fall that will lose which is the other way. I mean, it's kind of like a faster way of getting around. You can just, like, fall down here. It doesn't kill you. Boop. Boop. There you go. Because this is the fire demon um, arena. Like I said, I don't want to head into this area over here. Uh, I don't want to get that. Mainly because it's just super annoying to get all these items over here. I know, right? The dragon, who is me, is just all like, I don't want to grab an item. Like I said, they get tough, and then if you fall, you take super amounts of damage, and I just don't want to deal with that. Anything back here, though? That doesn't look that way. Whoop. Alright, yeah, I'll chop this up. Alright, nothing back here. If I'm correct, this should, however, be the, um... Whatchamacallit, the shortcut, yes. Um, yeah, I think this is the shortcut. Ugh, stupid bug. Mostly they just run away from you, so they're not that bad. But more or less, you want to open this up. Boop. Now, in case you guys were wondering, this door doesn't open just for anyone. This door actually only opens up um, if you have, if you're like rank three in that uh, the Quilogs, um, in Quilogs. Uh, what do you call it? Ooh, sunlight make it. Um, oh, geez, help me out here. Quilogs, um, Covenant. That's it. Once you reach, like, level 3, then you're able to open up that shortcut. Which is actually pretty cool, because... Oh, stupid thing. Get over here. No! You die! That's what you get to do. None of this running away. But yeah, it actually brings you uh, straight into Isolith. However, do we want to go the, you know, fast, easy way? Hells no! Let's go the long way. I mean, I'm here to show you the, you know, take you on the tour, not to, you know, just, you know, straight get you to your destination. It's like taxi drivers. They take their sweet time, so that way they can milk you for every dollar. I'm not a fan of taxi drivers. Or taxis. Mainly taxi drivers. It's like they pretty much, like, the interview is all like, hey, can you drive? And they're like, no, not at all. And then they're all like, great, you're hired. <laughs> That's pretty much every taxi driver I've seen. Uh, yeah, no hatred whatsoever. Alright, there we go. So now you know what that leads to. So now we're actually going to go down below. What time do we got? We got eight something. Yeah, see, I have two timers. One's on that clock and one's on my timer. The only problem is that with uh, the one that's on my camera... If that one is, um, if that one is, what's with me and having so many brain farts? I've been recording all night. Um, if I, you know, pause the episode so that way I can, like, skip a bunch of stuff, that one keeps going. So I'm not really that accurate if I had to pause the episode. Alright, so we're just going to go down here. And you're going to get the most clusterphobic annoying boss fight ever and it's stupid and I hate it and it's stupid and uh, like everything about it is literally just keep slashing until one of you dies at least you can summon Solaire who uh, is not the greatest help there because he'll run into the lava and then he'll die yeah why do I like this <laughs> uh, this just has to be like they're saying, this place has the worst bosses. Besides that flame boss that we just saw, this place has the worst bosses. So let's summon Solaire. I think he can throw some lightning. That'd be cool. Solaire, throw some lightning. 
<clears throat> oh, speak about throwing lightning. Just wait till the next, uh, I mean, my playthrough of um, Dark Souls 2. There's a much better build that I'd love to make in that one. Come on, Solaire. Oh, this is going to suck. <clears throat> this is best if you have a ranged character. See, that lava severely hurts you if you touch it. You want us the problem? It's everywhere! <laughs> hey, remember this thing? That's literally on the side at the top? Yeah, it's a boss. It's a stupid, stupid boss. <sighs> and you want what's dumb? The ring that you need to make the lava not hurt as badly? He's holding it! Literally, the guy in the lava is holding the ring you need to be able to go in the lava. So here's the thing. It's all like, I can't do jack shit because he's over there. And unless I want to run through here, you know what? I never thought of that. Screw it. Look how much damage that did just by me running through there. Yeah, come into a more... Ooh, this is a more even playing field. Yeah, look how much damage that freaking did. There we go. This is a bit of a bigger area we can find. Yeah, look at this. Like, you have to hit something of him? There we go. I think I'm... Oh, oh, I'm flashing something. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, get out of the lava. Get out of the lava. Oh, look, I found his feet. I found his feet. Yes. Solaire, keep him busy. I'm slashing his feet. Ah, he jumped. I don't like it when things jump. Ow, that's why. Holy poop, I never thought about, like, luring him over here. Oh, do not target him. Targeting him is, as you can see, is the worst. Alright, let's heal. Uh, can you not hold on to my soul air, please? That's, uh, my soul air. What the poop? Why am I not doing damage to him? I don't care if he's currently killing my friend. Uh-oh. Like, he can take damage as much as he freaking deserves. Come on. Slash. How is slashing his tail not dealing damage? Hey, buddy, I need you over here. Bring a leg in. Bring a leg in. There you go. Booyah! Oh, see, normally I just do this right in front of the door. I never thought about running over here. See, there's the stupid ring we need to run in the lava. And Solar survived. Fantastic. Woohoo! Uh, excuse me, let me open my friggin' thing. Oh, I hate that this game... There! Jeez, I wanted to salute the, you know, frickin' sun while Solaire was there. But no, we have to be a super gang. Oh. I do like this game. You wouldn't be able to tell by how much I get angry at everything. Reduces lava damage. Like I said, the stupidest part... Is, see, now we can run through here and it barely hurts us. It's more like an annoying poison at this point. I love that I say that, you know, it's all like, oh, yeah, you know. I don't even you know what I'm saying. Alright, now, where do we go to, find to get out of here? That is actually not an exit. Ah, there we go, it's over there. See, because now the game's going to want us to go through the lava. Oh, and just wait, we're about to battle the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And here's Solaire again. Hello, Solaire. Why? Why? Why am I looking at you? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Find what? Friendship? You have Why? me? Why? After oh. all this... See, he's kind of going through an existential crisis right now. As most people in Dark Souls do, like, they generally just go through, like, the whole depressive phase of, you know, it's a look, oh, jeez, I'm depressed. So, like, yeah, we know. Alright, I'm not gonna juice up this fire. Hang on, this is just chilling there. Because there's another fire in here, I'll show you this one, just in case you didn't know that it existed, I'll show it to ya. Right. Yeah, by the way, caution, this is gonna be hard on the eye. Like, this is a really annoying to look at level. Like, I love lava worlds. I told you that last time. But it's so hard to look at because it's super glowy and it's just like... And everything else is dark. Oh, yeah, these things. 
these are the words. They're half dragons. They're like the feet of dragons. And they exist. And they're stupid. And they're annoying. Oh. Why did the game include them? Alright, let's see if I can run past them. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Oh, come on. That's a dick move. What are you doing? Let me just run. There we go. And yes, they are chasing me. They do that. There we go. And if I'm correct, this is not what I was looking for. There we go. But, okay, this one chain is wrapped around. That means it's safe. Soul of a great hero. Oh, go away! Really? I love that I do a backflip and it still didn't help. Yeah, you can take time to kill all these. Look how many there are of them! Like, you can take the time to, like, try to kill them and such, but honestly... I... Like, if this was me playing by myself, I would, just because I'm compulsive. And if there's stuff that needs to be, like, eliminated or exterminated, I would do it. But not when I'm playing with people. Nope, not this one. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. There we go. See, this one... Hey, piss off. I'm trying to do a let's play. See, this one hides a bonfire. In which this bonfire is actually super convenient for where we need to go next. Because it's the only bonfire of the area. Alright, let's juice ourselves up. And by juice ourselves up, I'm meaning juice up this bonfire. Let's kindle the crap out of it. I gotta get nice and toasty in there. Make my bonfire nice and warm, nice and big. Because, yeah, I need a bonfire whenever, now that I think about it, everything is surrounded by lava. I'm pretty sure I would be dying. But you know what? Screw it. Unless you're in the lava, heat doesn't kill you. Or even ruin my perfect complexion. <laughs> Alright, but that's act Ooh, actually, we're out of time now. So, we're going to move on to Isolith, like the actual city of Isolith. Um, once we're up there. So, that will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to playing it with you guys. Make sure to subscribe so you guys watch my next episode. Until then, have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye!